kicking the world's coal habit is going to take a lot of work, but it won't happen overnight. Despite its many dangers to the environment and human health, coal remains in high demand not only to generate electricity, but also for industrial and household purposes. Much has been made of the fact that growth in coal use in the electric power sector is stalling, but coal is used in many sectors beyond electric power and is not going to disappear anytime soon. While globally we're seeing a wave of firms leaving the coal-fired electric power sector, coal is poised to contribute to the fuel mix for a long time to come. This means that careful management of its remaining uses will be more important than ever. Coal will remain relevant for two reasons. First, it is still in high demand. Coal and power generation is projected to drop to 36% by 2021, down from 41% in 2014. However, this amounts to a flatlining in demand. The second factor is the ongoing role of coal in industrial and household uses in developing countries. Policy initiatives to reduce pollution tend to focus on emissions from electric power. Instead of being sector specific, we need to be comprehensive about the way we manage coal across all of its uses and its environmental and health impacts. Ideally, we would find a way to incorporate into the price of coal the additional environmental and human health costs. This may not be politically feasible, so other options include supporting alternatives to coal use in different sectors, as well as promoting increases in energy efficiency across the board. The most politically acceptable approach may be to use the increased price of coal to compensate stakeholders who are directly affected by helping them to find other jobs and opportunities. For example, China set aside $23 billion to ensure that the reduction of five to six million jobs in the coal industry do not have destabilizing effects on the economy. Whatever actions we take, we will need to really focus focus on implementation. Organizations will need better capabilities in monitoring, reporting, and verifying coal use and its associated emissions. The goal here is not to go to zero coal usage overnight. We need to think long term and find the right combination of incremental and transformative interventions.